Good morning. Let us all please stand. Let's take this moment as we turn towards one another to greet each other and welcome one another to our celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today we celebrate Friday in the 23rd week in Ordinary Time. And today's saint which we celebrate is Saint Peter Claver. And our opening hymn is number 406, Shelter Me, O God. Shelter me, O God, hide me in the shadow of your wings. You alone are my hope. When my foes surround me, Set me high above their reach. Hear me when I call your name. Shelter me, O oh God. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. You alone are my home. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, now let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Peter Claver a slave of slaves and strengthened him with wonderful charity and patience as he came to their help, grant through his intercession that seeking the things of Jesus Christ, we may love our neighbor in deeds and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, this is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. Then the Lord will guide you always and give you plenty, even on the parched land. He will renew your strength, and you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring whose water never fails. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who delight in the law of the Lord. 
Blessed are they who delight in the law of the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who delight in the law of the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed, Blessed are they who delight in the law of the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed, Blessed are they who delight in the law of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in glory and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne and all the nations will be assembled before him and he will separate them one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats, he will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me naked, and you clothed me, ill, and you cared for me, in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate again the memorial of St. Peter Claver. He was known for his missionary work to African slaves in the early 1600s in what we know today as modern-day Colombia. During his lifetime, uh, there were many slaves that were shipped from West Africa to where he was. It was estimated that over 10,000 slaves a year would be sent overseas to where he was and the conditions on the ship were so horrid and so inhumane that it was said that a third of those who were in transit from Africa to his country would die, a third would die. When they finally arrived to where he was in his country where he was a missionary, as they uh, disembarked from the boats, many people would look on as people that there are objects, there were people who were less than human. And St. Peter Claver did something different. Instead of looking upon them as objects or as less than human, he entered into their midst, thinking of them as brothers and sisters in Christ, made in the image and likeness of God. He would bring food, 
water, medicine, lemons, brandy, to take care of their needs to heal the sick. Once he cared for them, and once they began to build trust in him, then he began to teach them the Catholic faith. With the help of translators, he taught them, he baptized them, and he brought them into the practice of the faith. He served 38 years as a missionary there, taking care of them. And it's estimated that he baptized and brought in over 300,000 people into the faith. St. Peter Claver is an example and an incarnate model of what we heard in today's gospel. Jesus says, For I was hungry, you gave me food. I was thirsty, you gave me drink. A stranger, you welcomed me. Sick, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Today, on his feast day of St. Peter Claver, we ask for his prayers and his intercession that we too can see those who are poor, sick, hungry, in need in our midst, and that we can see them as our brothers and sisters in Christ to care for them as we would care for Jesus in our midst. St. Peter Claver, pray for us. Let us now stand as we bring our prayers and our needs before God through the intercession of St. Peter Claver. Our response is, Our Father, make us to be like you. Our Father, make us to be like, like you. That the church may undertake the road that leads to forgiveness, justice, truth, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Our, Our Father, Father, make us to be like you. That honest and lowly citizens may not be misled by false and ambitious leaders. Let us pray to the Lord. Our Father, Father make, make us, us to, to be, be like, like you. you. That we may refrain from passing judgments on or condemning other people on account of their weaknesses and shortcomings. Let us pray to the Lord. Our Father, make us to be like you. That the sick may experience the forgiving love and healing of our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Our Father, make us to be like you. That the dead may obtain mercy before the judgment seat of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Our Father, make us to be like you. The intentions of this Mass are offered for Valentina Quintero, and the eternal repose of Marie E. Johnson. Let us pray to the Lord. Our Father, make us to be like you. We pray for our sick, Antonio Castillo, and for the eternal repose of Mateo Gallegos, Maria Solis, and Frank Dayo. Let us pray to the Lord. Our, our Father, Father, make, make us, us to be like you. We take a moment of silence as we bring to the Lord our own prayers and needs and the prayers of our Ark of Prayer chest. Let us pray to the Lord. Our Father, Father make, make us, us to, to be, be like, like you. God, our Father, through the intercession of St. Peter Claver, may we see in our needy brothers and sisters the image of your son Jesus, that we look to care for them, clothe them, feed them, see in them our brothers and sisters in Christ. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people and grant that we, who celebrate your son's work of boundless charity, may by the example of blessed Peter Claver be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as on the festival of St. Peter Claver, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, pleni sunt celi et terra, gloria tua, hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, St. Peter Claver, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. Greater love has no one than to lay down his life for his friends. The body of Christ. We now join in prayer with our brothers and sisters who are praying with us online. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries may follow the example of St. Peter Claver, who honored you with tireless devotion and by surpassing charity was of service to your people through Christ our Lord. Amen. We turn now to Mary, our mother, as we ask for prayers and inner intercession. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. To St. Joseph, hail guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you God entrusted his only Son, in you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage and defend us from every evil. Amen. And to Saint Michael. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you and all of your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is number 559, Open My Eyes. Open my eyes, Lord, help me to see your face. Open my eyes, Lord, help me to see Open my ears, Lord, help me to hear your voice. Open my ears, Lord, help me to hear. Open my heart, Lord, help me to love like you open my heart lord help me to love